So what I'm gonna show you today is we're gonna set up email sending and receiving using a custom domain name. We're gonna set up just a normal free Gmail account. We'll set up a free account with Cloudflare. We'll set up an account with Mailgun, and then I'll show you how to tie them all together. So we'll start with going to Gmail. We'll create an account here. So we'll do demo mcdemoer. All right, so now we have a Gmail account. So next we need to go register a domain name. So typically where people go is they go domains.google.com. That's a good spot. People go to namecheap.com. That's another one with reasonably priced domain names. But what I almost always do because it is the best and the best prices is I'll go to Cloudflare. And so we'll go through sign up here. We'll put in whatever email address. It doesn't have to be the Gmail we just created, but we're gonna go with that for the sake of this demo. And boom, we'll create an account. Next, you'll go to domain registration. It's gonna be unhappy here for two reasons. One, I need to verify my email address, which we can just pop over here and see that we did indeed get an email. So we'll, we'll verify that. Okay, so that's great. And we wanna to go to domain registration. So you can see here, it says no payment method specified. We gotta go down here to manage account and billing, and we will add a payment method here. Uh, so I guess you can use PayPal or you can set up your card details and confirm that. So you'll end up with something like this where you have a credit card on file and now we can proceed to find a domain. So here we can put in whatever domain you want to register, or if you already have one, you can skip this step. So if we wanted it demomcdemoer.com, we would hit search, $8.57. So I think this is the best price you'll find for actual like not promo, not trick pricing. Meaning that like if GoDaddy tells you you can register a domain for $2.99 or whatever their special is, that will be only for the first year or, you know, there'll be some other strings attached. But in terms of like actual everyday normal pricing, Cloudflare has the best prices, even if it's just by a small margin. So if I hit purchase, choose how many years you want, you go through, put in all your info, you'll end up at the bottom. You can pay with the card you have on file and you're off to the races. So I'll also walk you through adding a site if you registered it elsewhere. So if you click over here to websites and you click add site, I'm gonna add a site that I have already registered over on Google domains and I'll hit add site. We're gonna go through here and select a plan. So you hit this free one down at the bottom, you continue. It's gonna scan a bunch of stuff. It's gonna ask you a bunch of questions that kind of don't really matter right now. You can add records here, for example, you can add root a record here. So a is the type The little at sign means root. And then you would put in an IP address here. I'm going to put in this IP address. That is the Netlify IP address. But anyway, it doesn't really matter what we choose here for this exercise. Presumably if you have your own domain, you might, this might be important because you'll have a website at that domain. So you'll have to put the right thing there uh, for that a record. Uh, you can also add things like a C name for www that would just point to that same uh, root domain name. And again, if you don't know what C name and this stuff means, don't really worry about it for right now. I just wanted to show you some examples of this. If you don't have this stuff set up on your existing domain, so if you do, you want to try to copy this from your existing domain DNS provider as best you can. For now, I'm just going to continue through this process. Now it's going to ask you, so here you can see that I registered it through Google domains. So there's a bunch of Google domains here and it wants me to change them to Elsa and Jack. So I'll go over to my Google domains, which you can see here. I'm over here on domains.google.com and I'll click on the left side here on DNS. 
and I'm going to click on custom name servers. So this is important. I'm going to put in the name servers that Cloudflare asked me to use. So I need to put those in just like that. And I can hit save. Looks like I need to press that use these settings button here. So now it says these DNS settings are active. And then over here, I can hit done, check name servers. Uh, for the quick start guide, I'm going to skip this. So I'm just going to press finish later. Okay, so I just refresh and now it says we're all set up on Cloudflare. So that's great. We can go over to Mailgun. So we'll go mailgun.com. We can create an account here. Now they are really risk averse over here because like obviously email and spam, a lot of people abuse it. So they're probably going to ask you for a lot of verification when setting this up. But let's see what happens. So here it looks like we can get started uh, with Mailgun. It is free according to this and it takes 57 seconds. So that's great. Okay, so let's set something up here. So I'll say like, you know, I'll put in my... So I'll put in my actual name. Unclear why it says like work email, but so be it. Put in a password there. Looks like it says after your trial, you will be moved to the foundation 50k, but you can always select pay as you go because I think that's what you want. So I'm going to proceed with this one. But if it turns out that Mailgun's not the right choice, there are a bunch of other choices. So a lot of people use SendGrid. Uh, I don't particularly like SendGrid, but I'm pretty sure they have a free tier. They do. So you can do up to 100 emails per day with SendGrid, but uh, there are other ones too. So there's Postmark. So they might be a good choice. They have, it looks like, starts at $10 a month and $1.25 for a 1,000 emails. There's Mailmodo, I think. I don't know what, I don't know if they have a free tier. Oh, they do have a free tier. So it looks like with Mailmodo, you can send 10,000 emails from one sender address. So maybe Mailmodo is the way to go. The other thing that you might end up using would be like Amazon uh, SES, I guess, which is like simple email service. It's pretty cheap in terms of what they call a transactional email, which is basically means you're not going to send like marketing with this. I believe this is the cheapest of the bunch, but it's also the most complex to get going. You end up paying 10 cents for every thousand emails. If you don't end up finding a free tier that works well, uh, this might be a reasonable backup plan. But anyway, there's a bunch of these different mail sending services. I have used Mailgun a lot. And so I'm going to continue down the path of using Mailgun, at least for this demo. Cool. So I added my billing info. Seems good. Okay, so now that we've set up uh, Mailgun, it looks like it wants me to activate my account to start sending emails. All right, so I opened this up for my email to activate it, but it looks like now it wants a phone number, which I guess sounds reasonable. So you'll end up here after you've signed up, after you've validated your email address. And so the key here, or what we're trying to do with Mailgun, is this is for sending email. So this is for outgoing email. We're not going to use their receiving feature because we're going to use Cloudflare for that. You can see that we don't have a sending domain set up here. So I need to add a domain. So it looks like it set us up with like a sandbox.mailgun.org, but we need to set up an actual domain. So when I click on sending, it automatically takes me to domains. I'll hit add a new one here. And we want to add the one that we set up in Cloudflare. Asked me to jump through some hoops here. So I have to, for example, I have to add this uh, text record here. So I can go over to my Cloudflare and go to my DNS. And you might remember this from when we added a few records earlier. So now we have to add some more records. So we'll add a text. So I'll scroll down here to a text record. And here it says, you can see it says use the at sign for root. 
Um, and then we'll paste in what Mailgun asked us to paste in for save. It wants a few more. So it looks like it wants our KRS dot underscore domain key. So I'm going to copy just that part. I don't need the tail end of that. Again, we'll set up a text record here. Um, and this time I'll paste that in under the name here. And then for this content, we're going to have to paste in this whole long thing. Press save. Now these are optional and we're not going to set them up. MX records are recommended for all domains, even if you're only sending, but we will need to set these to something different for receiving. Oh, and then this other one here, the CNAME record is necessary for tracking opens. We're not really doing marketing, so I'm going to leave that alone. We don't need to track opens. So we can go over here. We can press verify DNS settings. So now that we have verified our DNS records, which are just those two important ones there, it now presents us with two ways to send mail. We are going to use the SMTP way. So here it will give us an SMTP host name. It'll give us a port, which is 587. It'll give us a username here, and then it'll give us this default password. Now you can manage your credentials to add additional users. So here you can add a new SMTP user. We don't even need to do that. What it has already provided us is sufficient for what we're about to do next, which is we're going to go back to my Cloudflare here. And this is important. So we're going to set up email routing here. So uh, it does need us to configure some DNS and it looks like uh, it can do it all for us. So I'm going to hit add records and enable. And okay, so I want my email to come from here into that Gmail account. So it's this one here, the demo demoer at gmail.com. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put that under destination addresses here. So I'm going to add destination address. Press save. I've already got one here that is verified, but you can kind of pretend that isn't there. And you can see that I need to verify this. So it already sent me an email. We'll go back over to my inbox here. You'll see that Cloudflare has indeed sent me a verification email. And I'll click that, and it now says that I am verified. Okay. So over here, I guess I can refresh the page, and you can see that that email is listed. Again, kind of ignore that other one, but you'll see the Gmail that you care about right there. Next, we need to set up, uh, since we're under routes here, because this is email routing, so we're, we're bringing in incoming mail that is coming to our custom domain here. Uh, we're going to make sure that gets forwarded over to our Gmail. So we'll create this custom address. I'm going to call it Simon. We're going to send to, we're going to send it to our Gmail address that we just added. So I'll press save. It is active. You can also set up a catch all, which is really cool, which means that any, any email that goes to any name at this domain name will get forwarded. Well, in this case, drop, but I can, uh, I can change that here and I can say send to. I can send it to that email address. But anyway, that is how you can set up inbound email routing. Okay, now we'll go back over to Gmail. We're going to go to settings, all settings. We're going to go to accounts and import. And here we're going to go to add another email address. So remember, the whole reason why we set up Mailgun was for outgoing email. So here it's going to ask for our name and our email address. So our outgoing email address, remember, is domain that we want. So here I can put my actual name here. And here I can put in the custom outgoing email address that I want. The treat is an alias here. You probably want to keep this checked. To learn more, I guess I could put this link here somewhere for you to check out. But I'm going to leave it checked for now. This is where SMTP credentials come in. So we're going to replace this SMTP server here with the one that Mailgun gave us. The port, it looks like, is already correct. The username is the one that they gave us. And then the password is that really long string there. The TLS or SSL, I'm going to leave it as the default. I'm going to press Add. Now, it sent me an email to this. And now I got the code. You may have to open your Gmail in a new tab 
to to find that code or go back over here but you get the code you hit verify it'll take us back to our settings here for our gmail and you'll see a button here it says make default this is to make sure that when we send email from our gmail account that it goes out from our custom email address and not from that gmail address so we'll click this make default and now you can see it is the default so under send mail as we will always send as our custom email address and so now we'll go back to our inbox here and we're basically done we can send a test email here to another email account i have and we'll make sure everything works so assuming you followed everything we did in this demo here you should be good to go we moved through things pretty quickly and there is a lot of steps involved here but you only have to do this once and now that it's set up you can send email and receive email from your custom domain using just a regular free gmail account i hope this helps if you have any questions throw a comment down below and that's it for this one